Hello YouTube and welcome to this week's episode of Brainstorm where we give you a glimpse into the world of science. Our top story is an exciting discovery from the world of medicine. Researchers from Singapore have found a new kind of stem cell in mice lungs. Mice were infected with a strain of H1N1. This caused severe damage to their lungs which surprisingly regenerated after about three months. They managed to isolate a naturally occurring adult stem cell that can rapidly divide and form pods. Another important discovery was made by different researchers in New York, as they may have found the growth factor linked to these new stem cells. By doing more horrible things to mice, a growth factor was detected being released by blood vessels that encouraged the growth of new alveoli. This has huge implications for people with asthma and many other respiratory conditions. Our next story is from the world of biology. Collaboration by many different scientists in Germany have designed a machine to automate cell culturing. Most medical and genetic research requires the culturing of cells and until now was mostly done by hand. The new mechanical device can perform a variety of tasks, such as transferring petri dishes and even moving single cells. It's also equipped with an automated microscope designed to work in optimal growing conditions. Software can determine cell density and even be trained to recognize different cell types. Right now, it's assisting in research involved with identifying protein functions in the human genome. But the technology is modular and adaptable, giving it a wide range of potential applications. And from the field of astrobiology, scientists at the New York Center for Astrobiology have been analyzing research in search of methanol concentrations in space. Methanol is a relatively simple organic compound thought to be an initial precursor for the development of more complex biological molecules. What the scientists found was that a small number of newer solar systems had extremely high concentrations of methanol, up to 30% of ice in the systems. These few systems could end up having high potential for the evolution of life on other planets. It's especially interesting considering that, according to comet composition, our own solar system only had a few percent methanol initially. Our final story is a quick update from the world of robotics. Toyota recently unveiled four new robots designed to help those with mobility issues. Two of them are essentially leg braces fitted with high precision motors and sensors. One is designed to assist a paralyzed leg in walking, while the other is meant to retrain someone whose walking has been impaired. Another is a device that helps people with balance issues train their muscles with game-like exercises. And finally, a robot that will assist caretakers when transporting patients who have difficulty walking. Well, hope you enjoyed this week's episode. If you did, please consider subscribing and be sure to check the links in the video description.